Tuesday, September 20th, 2011. Chess Vibes is in Brussels, Belgium, where Gary Kasparov addresses the European Parliament to present his project Chess in European Schools. Besides Parliament members, a number of invited people attended the public hearing, including Judith Polgar. Kasparov has recently launched the European branch of his Kasparov Chess Foundation, and in Brussels he was assisted by the President of the European Chess Union, Silvio Danilov. Uh, our mission in chess is to promote the game, our, our world, like uh, the mission in UEFA, promote football. We think that chess is uh, incredibly benefit uh, product for the children, and the research shows that children who have been exposed to chess at an early age achieve better results in school, not only in mainstream subjects, but across outside the world. After Danilov, it was Kasparov's turn to address the parliament members and convince them of the benefits of chess for school children. And I think it's very important and it's very symbolic that the European Parliament will be the first institution to discuss and hopefully to, to, to uh, make a positive decision in implementing chess in the uh, educational system. I would uh, probably say that it, solving problems is very important because kids, you know, they, they, they they have to discipline their mind in, in concentrating on, 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 on solving problems. And there's no one to help. At the end of the day, it's entirely up to you to make all the difference. With good moves you win, with bad moves you lose. And that's a sense of responsibility, something that you know, uh, they can learn, not uh, 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 by being told, but actually by learning it through the, uh, uh, through the uh, competitive um, uh, uh, games. After the presentation, Kasparov was participating in another competitive game. Together with Judith Polgar, he played a simultaneous chess exhibition against 14 children as part of the promotion of his project. After his simul, Kasparov thanked the European Parliament members and toasted to the success of his project. At that moment, Polgar hadn't finished her simul yet. One of the young kids managed to hold her to a draw. Then it was time for the press conference, where we asked Polgar about her role in the project and her personal commitment to the subject. Well, actually I got involved in uh, teaching chess uh, for kids that I have two children. One is seven and the other one is five and then uh, they joined kindergarten already. Uh, I implemented chess in the kindergarten because I wanted my kids to start to learn and uh, socialize through chess as well. And uh, that's how I got to uh, write also a small booklet for uh, having for the kindergarten. And uh, since then I'm, I'm very happy to, to be around the kids, even though I'm not teaching myself personally, but uh, I'm around the kindergarten time to time and, and look uh, how they're improving. Uh, I simply believe uh, that chess is a very, very good uh, educational tool for kids and it can be a, a very nice uh, family game also and it can be something, chess uh, is like a language because uh, if a child learns uh, the game, what are the rules and enjoys it, you, no matter which country you're going, you might end up uh, having contacts and uh, having friendships uh, on the train station or in the park or anywhere. So I think it's, uh, of course for me it's, uh, it's different chess because it was all my life I started to play chess when I was five and uh, I'm doing it in a very pro professional high level and uh, but I think uh, when chess would go into school in a more active way then uh, I think it, it's, uh, it's a very good uh, social program also. And uh, what I like to say that it's very nice in Hungary when I meet parents uh, I'm very happy that most of the parents are really looking forward and very happy that chess gets into the educational system in some way or another. And I think it's extremely important that parents are uh, very supportive about it. Uh, I know that in France also they made some uh, researches and, and parents were very, very supportive that chess should be in schools. And uh, well, it's something I'm happy to be around with. And, uh, I have some time to, apart from chess and family, to be involved. 
Then we asked Mr. Kasparov how he would reply to parliament members who would raise the question why chess and not other mind sports. We can start uh, you know, the long discussion about mind games. Uh, I hope you don't even call us in that. Do you? Oh, I'm thinking about uh, go and draw and stuff like that. Okay, uh, I uh, want Europe. Yeah, so I think that's, that's why I think it's just uh, here is chess is recognized as the sort of universal measure of uh, uh, um, human intellect. And uh, uh, I uh, also think that we are already, uh, in the, we're in the position to analyze a massive amount of information collected from uh, different parts of the world uh, and Europe as well about chess being uh, 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 one or another part of, of uh, 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 school programs. Um, and um, I understand there will be questions asked uh, by certain uh, members of parliament and uh, that's their duty to, uh, to do this due diligence and to examine uh, uh, certain things that are being proposed, especially something which is related to education, which is a very conservative uh, uh, in structure of, of uh, um, our lives. Uh, but now I think we, we, are, we are at the time sort of, of, of uh, changing the, the, um, the, the educational environment as, as, as many other things in our life. So uh, it's all speeding up, we're looking for new solutions and uh, chess might benefit from this appetite for, for uh, change. And uh, I believe that all the questions asked will be uh, uh, receiving uh, uh, proper answers because we have so much information that we just have to shape in the right form and to make sure that uh, uh, um, uh, it will uh, satisfy not not so much a curiosity of the MP M MPs but more you know the uh, very rigid uh, demands of the educational system that will be the greatest challenge how to actually shape it in the form acceptable by the academic criteria for schools and universities Chess Vibes wishes Mr. Kasparov good luck with his project and we leave sunny Brussels.